Hello, I'm Andrew Cardinal. I'm an account manager with CAT Simulators, and today I'd like to demonstrate the small wheel loader simulator for you. As you can see, the small wheel loader simulator is constructed out of tubular steel, which is state-of-the-art hardware that has machine-like feel and quality. The small wheel loader simulator also includes controls taken right out of the machine. So the operator will be able to not only become familiar with controls, but master the controls in a nice, safe, controlled environment. And now I would like to show you how the simulation works. The small wheel loader simulator consists of 10 different training exercises that start with very basic control familiarization training exercises and goes all the way down into a free drive training exercise that really allows the operator and the trainer to work together to work on very specific machine operation skills. The first training exercise I'd like to show you is the walk around. So I'm going to click to do the walk around at the Edwards Center, and then I'm going to click, we're going to practice the walk around today for demonstration purposes. It's going to ask me to read the on-screen instructions, and when I'm done reading the instructions, I just want to press the horn to move on to the set, next set of instructions. And as you can see, it's going to start me on an inspection point on, a, on the 69-point walk around inspection. And up on the left-hand corner, it's going to show me uh, a series of inspection points that I need to check. And the first one, it says transmission fluid sight glass. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to select it. This is a good example because I can see that it is low on fluid. So I'm going to select that it is not at an operating level. And it's going to give me a positive response. And it's also going to fill the transmission fluid up. So you can actually see that it has been fixed. So the operator will know what it looks like at its right operating level. And for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next inspection point. And we're looking at the left rear tire. And again, you're going to see the series of places I need to see or need to check on the inspection. And again, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to just kind of run through all of the inspection points to show you. Here we're checking the left engine compartment. We're checking the rear of the machine here, um, the reflectors, the undercarriage. I'm going to open up uh, where the radiator is and the fan. And again, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go on to the next inspection point. So as you can see, all 69 inspection points on the sm small wheel loader are uh, inspected by the operator, which gets uh, him or her in, a, in the habit of actually doing the walk-around inspection before they operate the machine. The next training exercise that I'd like to show you on the small wheel loader simulator is the track loading exercise. Again, I'm just going to select track loading. And as you can see, I have four different selections. I can do um, stationary truck loading or I can do truck loading with spotting. For this demonstration, I'm going to do sta stationary truck loading um, in the daytime. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to practice for this case. The practice mode just gives you a little bit more leeway um, and gives you on-screen instructions throughout the training exercise. So I'm going to click practice. The simulator is going to load up for me. And then again, it's always going to give you before the machine starts or before the training exercise starts a series of instructions of how to complete the mission correctly. So after I read the instructions, I'm just going to go ahead and hit the horn. Again, it's just giving you instructions on how to correctly complete the training exercise. I'm going to honk the horn to have the operator jump in the machine. As you can see, it reinforces the three points of contact while entering the machine. As the operator puts his seatbelt on on the screen, I'm going to go ahead and put mine on too.
before the mission starts, they're going to have you center the steering wheel, turn the ignition off, engage the parking brake, and put the transmission into neutral, just as you would in the real machine. So I already have my seatbelt fastened, so I'm going to go ahead and honk the horn. And during the training missions, there is going to be on-screen instructions the whole time. And as you complete the instruction correctly, the white text is going to light up green. It's going to give you a positive response. Go ahead and start the machine up. Engage the parking brake, or disengage the parking brake. Set the transmission to forward. And start the truck loading mission. Go ahead and fill my bucket up. After it's full, it's going to tell me the capacity to which it's full. And I'll follow the blue line, which is the correct pattern to take to the truck. Go ahead and dump the material on the back of the truck. this pass, I'm actually going to go ahead and take the material, and I'm going to run into the truck on purpose just to show you what it looks like when an operator fails a mission. And again, that will be recorded, and you'll be able to go back in later to see what mistakes the operator made. If you have any questions related to our simulators, please contact your CAT Simulator account manager.